Hey guys, this is Sarah. Uh, sorry about that. My video just cut off because I ran out of storage space. So this is part two of my Ice Yarns unboxing. I was just talking to you about my Bush Trucker beanie hat and the poof ball. The, oh yeah, the pom pom ball that I made with the rubbing yarn that you don't want to shake in your house because all the fibers fly everywhere. So yeah, if you catch, caught the last video, that's me. Thank you again for bearing with me. Um, I don't have a decent camera. I don't like editing software. So I'm not sure how to combine two videos together, but I, that is something I do want to learn so I don't have to upload so many videos. So the next ice yarns I'm showing you is the Anthrax Black. This is Saver. Oh my gosh, this is so soft. This is just as soft, if not softer, than the Red Heart or the Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn. Super soft, I love this yarn, whatever it's called. Oh my gosh. This is a very, 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 very dark charcoal black. It's got a piece of pink fuzz on there. It's a, like a washed black. I got this to combine with some of the yarn I got last time, which is 68097, and they are completely out of. My sister Sophia picked this out for a blanket, which I had already planned on making a hug shrug for my grandmother with. So I ordered more of this from my insurance, which was the last of what they had. Then I decided instead of using black, I'm using the anthrac black so it's not as harsh. And then I will be adding a light gray in with it as well. So I think I'm going to do a checkered pattern blanket, which would be gorgeous. I found a tutorial on YouTube that I'm going to try. And once I have that started, of course, I will be showing you guys. I always like showing you the projects I'm working on. Uh, let's see. Got some more yarn. I got two packages of Angora Active Rainbow 58022. If you are familiar with Blue Eyed Style, her name is Candy. She's a really nice lady. She bought one of these packs. And she made everyone a poncho, and it worked up great. I'm not going to make a poncho with this, but I would like to make some kind of blanket with the same style of stitch that she used with the cables and the uh, double V stitch. The double V stitch alone is my favorite. Two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet in the same stitch. Skip two chains, then repeat. Two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. I love the stitch. It's my favorite. So I got two of these, and the other one is buried in the box somewhere still. I got another package of Picasso 66600. This is the last package they had in this colorway. My girlfriend picked out this color. I'm currently still working on um, a poncho on it for her. I'll take it out and I'll show you. I need to take out that Angora Active Rainbow and I'll show you that too. I apologize for not taking that out and telling you about it. So this Picasso is 40% acrylic, 50% polyester. 56% polyester, 50 gram ball, 115 meters. It is a number four weight. And I love this color. I love how it works up. It is so soft. This would be great in a granny square. You just do a basic granny square blanket with this. That would be gorgeous. Variegated yarns are really great for wobble stitch blankets or granny square blankets. Just going back and forth with some white in between. If you're unsure what to do with variegated yarns like these, add some white stripes. If you get another yarn and a cream, white, some kind of neutral color that you like, even like a, even like a light gray, like this would, would, would look decent. Or get a color that matches one of the colors in here that you like. And do a couple of stripes or one stripe, one row or whatever, and just go back and forth. Make you a blanket, you can make you a poncho, you can make you a, a wrap dress, a big square rectangular. Piece with two armholes towards the top and then you just it's a wrap dress it one side goes over this way then one side goes over this way and then it crosses I, I'd have to I'd have to find a picture and show you uh, here's the Angora active that was 58022 I previously showed you this is a number two but to me, it's a very thin number two. If you are familiar with Puzzle Baby, they say that that is number two, but it's thicker than this strand right here. 
So this is a thin number two. The baby, the puzzle baby is a thick number two. So it's kind of strange to me. This is soft. Oh my gosh. This is my first time opening up Angora Active. I cannot believe how soft this is. This is going to be so comfy and cozy. 100 gram skein, 500 meters. That's a lot. 2,000 meters in this whole package for, I think it was $7. And Gore Active, no, excuse me, that was $9.99, $10. $10, but $2.50 a skein for 400 meters, that's a good deal, I like it. Uh, Angor Active, it says 25% Angor, 75% acrylic. Uh, delicate, I would wash this on a delicate cold water cycle and I would lay it flat to dry because of the um, Angora and because it's so thin. Especially if you do a lacier stitch. The lacier stitches to me require more, more of a careful handle more of a you just want to be more fragile with it when washing i don't know how else to, to say that <clears throat> okay this is a filler 70063 it's a macaroon 299 a package and i got five of these um just so that way i can get each package for about ten dollars Here's my invoice total. Um, 272.68 was my total. I got 76 balls in the whole entire order and it was $3.59 per ball. I got 27 packs of yarn for $272.68. So the way I look at it is with those filler yarns, they're $3 a pack. Shipping will go up a couple of dollars, two, three, four, five dollars here and there depending on the weight of the yarn. So the more $3 packages you add in to fill in the rest of your order, the closer to about $10 per pack you will be paying for, which is a better deal. If I had not put in these $3 filler yarns in, I would have spent probably $260 and I only would have had 14 packs. So 14 packs, $160. So to me, that's like another extra $20 I paid just for shipping and I didn't get any more packs of yarn out of that. So to me, this is worth it. It's over $3 a ball, but to me it's worth it because I got 27 packs for $270. So this is the macaroon. It's a light gray, even though their website says gray. Um, it's a bulky. It's soft, but rough. This would be really great for hats and sweaters. A sweater to wear over a tank top or something. Make a poncho with this. You can make baskets with this. This would be cute, baskets. This is, do, 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 read the right side of the label, macaroon number, it says it's a number three, but that's a bulky three. That's a bulky three. That's close to a four, but a thick three. 50% uh, acrylic, 40% polyamide, 3% elastin. So I like the elastin because I've heard and have experienced that elastin will help your garments keep its shape. Kind of like you, your skin has elasticity. You're going to pull on it, it's going to bounce back. That's what this does. So it keeps its shape better. I like how this feels. And I got five packs of it. So I have more than enough to make something substantial. And with 100 meters per ball, that's a lot of yardage. I'm going to have to get some tape for that one. All my fillers I'll put down here. I've got so many of them. There's another package. And that was, again, 70063 Macaroon. One of their three new colors. Macaroon Ecru. I got the plain Ecru. The information is the same, so I'm not going to pull it out, but we all know what white and Ecru kind of looks like. It's just like an... To me, it looks white. With like a hint, a hint of cream in it. So it's barely, it's barely even off-white. So those can go up here. I got more grays that will go at the bottom. Here's another two pack of Saver Anthric Black. It is 100% Draylon acrylic. I have heard Krista from The Secret Yarny rave about Saver. I have not heard anyone else rave about Saver so much. Um, I have not pers personally worked it up yet because I still have 12 ongoing projects. I'm still trying to fin get finished. 
and I'm trying not to start. I really don't want to have more than a dozen projects. I try to have more discipline and get some projects done unless I decide I want to package it up and, and save it for next year to complete. I can't believe they didn't send me a tote bag. I'm going to have to email them and say, now look, I spent quite a bit of money with ice yarns. Quite a bit, more than I should have, and I deserve a tote bag. Yes, I do. That was another package of the Great Ecru. Here's another package of the Black Rainbow Baby Twist. Here, that number is again, 69001. And if you did not see the first part, here's the White Rainbow. 69015. I got four packs of each. Because here in a minute, I'm going to show you what I've already made with it. I'll be making four of them because there's me and my three other sisters. Um, I may make matching hats for next winter, and I'm definitely going to make blankets. I got... I think all together now, I got 10 packs of each one and several of my orders. I love Baby Twist so much, and I got it in multiple colors. Here's the other package of the Angora Active 58022. It's the 25% Angora, 75% acrylic, 100 gram skeins, 500 meters. It is a number two, but it is a thin number two, in my opinion. I got three packages of this, 22037 Baby Design Black Gray White, just so I could make sure I had enough to make something substantial. I want to make a Ruana poncho with this yarn. This is super pretty. Mostly gray, a touch of dark gray and white. This is 100% baby acrylic, so it's softer than regular acrylic. Number two fine, it is 100 gram skein, 360 meters. It says it's a number two. And I agree with that. It looks like about the same thickness as Baby Twist, I would say. And it's soft. Not the softest acrylic. It could be softer for Baby Acrylic, in my opinion. But this is washable and dryable. And once you pull it out of the dryer, this will be so much softer. Oh my gosh. You don't need dryer sheets. You don't need fabric softener. Use cold water with your favorite laundry soap. Sometimes I add in those little scented beads. I like those are fun. Put a cap full of those in because I can get a small bottle for like a dollar at Dollar General. And that'll last me like 10 loads. And I'm happy with that. Um, the scent beads are nice. They make everything smell good. And it does kind of act as a fabric softener in itself. Because I felt the material of those beads. Um... Anyways, and yeah, I've washed acrylic and dried acrylic. It works out so nice, and it comes out so soft. Oh my gosh. So there's three packets of that. 22037, that number was. And then all I have left is the other two packages of my light gray accru. 70063. I got five packages of that. And then I have 100 meters, at least, on each ball. So 8 balls times 5, that's 40 balls of yarn. I've got 20. So now, that is an empty box. Now what I made with the baby twist. Uh, here it is. Here's the baby twist. Granny square bag. Look at that. Look how that worked up. Not pretty. I just did granny square stitches. You start at the bottom. And then you go as wide as you want. And then, let me see where I added, let me see where I started here. There, This is a, a tutorial online. I will, um, here on YouTube, there's a link. I will add it in the description box below. Okay, so I did a round of white, a round of black, a round of white. Once I got done with that white, I started with the black. Now what you do to make that point and then make your sides go up, you skip one space. You see that space right there that's skipped? And then I crocheted into that one and, and into that one on the side. And that one here in the middle, yeah, that space right there has, has been skipped. There it is. Is that right? I'm trying to do this backwards. There it is. 
So this was skipped. And I crocheted in the other two. So each side, you want to have an odd number of spaces when you finish your granny square. And then that one space in the center, you put a stitch marker and that indicates that you're skipping that space. You go to your corner, you do your corner like usual. Then you go around on the other side, that center space where your stitch marker is, that's where you skip. And then every single row, here we go. Every single row, let me see here. Am I looking at this right? This is weird. The color, the color changes are, are throwing me off. Okay, so every single row, you're going to skip that center stitch. And it's going to create your sides. So you see how it creates your sides and it builds up. So these stitches, you're not doing anything different. But here, you're just skipping one space on each side, in the very center of each side. And then you do your corners like regular. And then when you're done, I just start doing single crochets all the way around. And then I chain, how many did I chain? I chained 30, chain 30. You keep going around, chain 30, and then reattach to this corner, keep going around with single crochets, and then I run around three times with half double crochets. And that's it. Two bags will start with the white and have white handles. Two bags will start with the black and have black handles. There's four, there's four of us. Sarah, Summer, Savannah, Sophia. Three of us are nine years apart and Savannah and Sophia are a year apart. So there's a big gap between three of us. But, uh, and then what I think we'll, what I'll do is um, Summer had a baby. She's under two years. I think I'll make her a little bitty baby twist bag. I'll make her a little bitty one for her. So that'll be so cute. Oh, and also what I did um, to make it even more special, since there are four of us sisters, I did four rows each. Four rows of white, four rows of black, four rows of white, so on and so on. And then I did one row of white, and then I started with the single crochets on the handles. So I don't have a pattern for this. This this there this is a video on YouTube. I will include the link for it in the description box below. So you can see how to do this and make one yourself. Um, anything else I have to show you guys? I don't think so. I don't have any other projects going on. I just finished this a couple hours ago. It's I, I can see why Crystal likes wearing these hats in her videos. They are so comfortable. I love the cable stitching around the ears. It's so cozy and it adds some more cushion. Oh my gosh, it keeps my ears warmer. I wear this thing to work and we have like a cooler that I walk into and I wear this when I'm working in the in the back in the cooler area where it's cold and um, actually I love wearing this thing and then I wear it home if it's cold at night because I ride I ride a small electric scooter and I only only live I live less than one mile away from my work so riding my electric scooter is super easy I just plug it in when I get home uh, through the wall outlet and then I can go for three miles. Uh, there's a shopping center over there. My bank is up the road. The post office is right across the street from my house. So I will be doing a giveaway when I reach 500 subscribers. When I'm ready to mail that package, all I got to do is walk right across the street, baby. Get that package mailed off. There will be times to where I may crochet stuff to sell. And then all I got to do is walk it right across the street and ship it off. So I'm super stoked about that. Everything I need is nearby. That's the conveniency though of living in the city. Um, living in the States, it's also convenient because the ice insurance gets here so, so fast. I paid $157 for the yarn and $114 on shipping. Yes, that is expensive, but it's expressed and it gets here within a week. I ordered this Thursday night and it got here this morning. It is Tuesday afternoon. That I'm filming this so it'll be Tuesday night by the time you see this um, or Wednesday morning by the time you see this and um, that's all I have for now I don't have anything else until I have more yarn coming or until I have a um, tutorial for this llama shirt I mentioned this in the first video I will I'll do one side and I'll show you how to do the other side um, I'm gonna take a sharpie and mark a dot every quarter inch around the bottom of the seam 
before I cut the seam off. That way the fabric won't stretch as I'm making my marks on it. So a quarter inch mark marks around the whole entire seam on the neck, the, the seam on the sleeves, and if you want trim on the bottom, do the bottom too, right before the seam, right above the, a quarter inch away from the seam. You got that? A quarter inch away from the seam. And then I will cut the trimming off and then I will take a poker, poking tool, poke, poke a few holes in those dots, crochet a few single crochets. So anyways, I will have that up soon, hopefully soon. I'm waiting for my um, cotton yarn from iSerns. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video if you like my content. Please subscribe and ring the bell for um, more notifications so you get notified every single time I release a video. Please share this with any yarn communities you are um, grouped into. I'm like associated with all kinds of groups on YouTube, even though I'm not on YouTube every day. I'm on my couch with yarn in my hands more often and on the phone with work stuff and errands and stuff, you know, the usual bits, paying bills and stuff. But anyways, um, I really do thank you for watching my videos and bearing with me on the way my videos are released and not edited. So um, I've got company. i got to go. Bye. <laughs>